On this Father's Day, Jim Axelrod is giving us a read on a new book, My Father's List, distributed by our corporate sibling, Simon & Schuster. It tells the story of a daughter, her dad, and a list of some pretty challenging unfinished business. In her small apartment in Montclair, New Jersey, oh, well. Laura Carney's dreams are coming true. It's so cool to finally hold it in my hands. I mean, Just like her father always knew they would, even if unaware of exactly the role he'd play. Laura Carney, my father's list, how living my dad's dream set me free. Laura's first book was oh, just published, so weird. a dream creation. born of a nightmare 20 so years ago. And I remember thinking how angry I was that he didn't finish his life, you know, that he didn't get to do all the things he set out to do. Mick Carney was killed in a car crash at the age of 54. Was he a good dad? Yeah, oh, the best. A sensitive, sentimental, and like so many of our fathers, complicated man, loving. You're the best thing I've ever done. You're the best thing I've ever done. That's what he said all the time. But he also left her a lot to sift through, like when he split from her mom, when Laura was just a girl. When he left, when you were six, was there something you had to overcome? Oh, of course, of course. I, I believed he abandoned us for a long time. So weird, his handwriting, right? It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to read. <laughs> what she's sifted through the last six years is a list of all those things Mick Carney set out to do. 60 items he wrote down when he was 29. He'd only had a chance to try six when he was killed. What do you think the value of writing a bucket list is? You know, not only are you writing down your intentions for your life, but you're also committing to showing the world who you are authentically. So even if you don't finish it, maybe your kids find it someday, and then they know what you cared about, and that matters. Things I would like to do in my lifetime. When her brother found the list in 2016... I couldn't help but notice talk with the president right away. Talk to a president, correspond with the pope, run 10 miles... Swim the width of a river... Surf in the Pacific Ocean. She was intimidated. And then I just got this image in the back of my mind of my dad's face smiling and nodding. That never happened before, so that was the thing that really made me feel like, oh, I need to do this. But when she and her husband Stephen headed to Georgia and Jimmy Carter's Sunday service, if you want a photograph, you can stay. daunted, turned to inspired. So what happened? I said, uh, President Carter, my father wrote down that he wanted to meet you on his bucket list, and I'm checking that off for him today. And he said, oh, very good. This was the most impossible list item, and, I, and we did it. And I think everything changed after that, because if I could do the most impossible one, then what was to stop me from doing the rest? Ever since, she's been checking them off. Why are there so Record many five songs. Songs about rainbows. Sailed by herself. All right, here we go. Skydive. Was any part of you as you would read this be like, come on, Dad. Like, yeah. <laughs> but when I would be in the middle of doing them, I just had this feeling that my dad wouldn't let me fail. Maybe the most challenging for this reluctant driver was hopping behind the wheel of a Corvette. I took it slow, then I knew it was the same highway where my dad's crash had happened. But the challenge was where the healing was. I felt like I now could associate a new memory with driving. And the car phobia went away. Then all of a sudden I was taking long trips and driving myself. I changed the narrative. My dad and I weren't victims of something anymore. No, they weren't. With the help of her long-gone dad, Laura was learning to rethink her approach to life. But underpinning this entire list is do things to enjoy doing them. That's right, which Not I wasn't your, doing. Your dad was teaching you through this list that you derive pleasure from the doing. Not how well you do it, from the doing of it. It opened my heart, which had been shut down. Chapter 12, own a black tux. So now Laura Carney is sharing what she learned by completing the list how she made her connection to her father's memory 54 times tighter and found peace in the process. So I'm not stuck in that 
that day when he died anymore. Now I'm living in the present and I'm going and doing all these incredibly fun things. Everybody has that possibility to still have that connection because even though people die, love is something that never dies.